puede desplazarse en superficies lisas It can climb completely vertical and smooth surfaces and has been designed to inspect and repair industrial sites in remote, harsh environments. How and to what extent is this possible? In the search for an answer, we traveled to this lab in southern Switzerland. The prototype has been developed by researchers in robotics, kinetics, dynamics and mechatronics as well as software and computer engineers. The robot was designed to move both backwards and forwards and rotate on metal surfaces on sites such as offshore platforms or ships' hulls. The main advantage is the robot's capacity to function in harsh, complex and risky conditions. We needed a platform that was able to operate between minus 20 and plus 35 degrees centigrade. This is a very wide temperature range. The robots must be able to withstand water, salt and wind. It must be a tough structure. The prototype can climb vertically, extremely slippery surfaces because it moves like a tracked vehicle. It has two rubber belts which remain in contact with the surface thanks to a vacuum-based adhesion system. The main challenge was to design the adhesion system. We had to make sure the robot could hold its own weight vertically, while at the same time remaining mobile. But we also had to make sure that the robot could hold onto vertical surfaces while doing repair work. The robot is programmed to identify corrosion, then clean and repair the scarred surface. The robot is able to perform jointed, complex operations that are currently done manually by human operators. But when operating under these circumstances, manual workers face serious risks, health as well as safety risks. In recognition of the company's marketing strategy and scientific innovation, the team was awarded the overall 2019 Innovation Radar Prize. The initiative is supported by the European Commission to help innovators realise their full potential. In Europe, we have excellent science. Uh, with just 7% of world population, uh, we account for 20% of research and innovation funding and one third of excellent publications in the world. Where we are not as good yet is bringing these scientific results from the lab to the market. And this is something we are addressing now uh, with the Innovation European Innovation Fund, which are, we are going to establish with a new research and framework program, Horizon Europe. Researchers say they already have some idea of how the robot can access potential markets. Naval logistics is a key strategic market for us. The robot can be used in offshore sites, both oil and gas platforms or wind turbines. It could also be applied in the aerospace field.